Some of the local entrepreneurs decried fallover unpaid rented vehicles to the government of Lesotho. Speaking at the media briefing, a committee member of this businessman, Mr. Tabo Dau, mentioned that surprisingly this year, things changed when the Minister of Finance dismantled their team and said that the vehicle will be paid by the minister which the car is working for. If a car is working for the Ministry of Forestry, the owner will be paid by the aforementioned ministry. Mr. Tebatomakhanya, on the other hand, explained that the vehicles are easy to use by the government because if they need to be serviced, the government would just call the owner. But now that they have not been paid for seven months, it becomes more expensive since there is no income. The owners are at a point where they do not see the benefit of being in this business. <laughs> ne <laughs> Mr. Tabo further stated that this has caused them too much confusion because they are no longer being paid well, unlike before, where the communication was much better. <laughs> Mr. Tebato showed that there were several ways that they were using together with the Minister of Finance in order to try and fix this situation. The Minister was promising that they were working hard to fix this. However, he further showed that after they saw that there were still no results, they decided to find a lawyer as their representative because the banks wanted to take the vehicles that they were not paid for. <laughs> The finance ministry responded by saying that the ministries responsible for renting the vehicles have not submitted the invoices to the finance ministry, hence the payments cannot be made.